What's up guys, Devin here and today I'm going to show you guys how to reset your flash counter on your Samsung Galaxy S3 and Samsung Galaxy Note 2. So let's go and get started. First of all I'm going to restart and I'm going to go into download mode or open mode. So to go into that, press down on the volume down button and the home button and press the volume up. So as you can see, it says 9 counts, so that means I tripped the counter 9 times. So I'm going to show you guys how to get rid of that. So let's go back to the home screen. Let's restart the phone. Okay, let's unlock the phone. And you guys will need an app to get rid of the flash counter. So go into the Play Store, go to search and search for Triangle V. So as you can see, this is an app. It's only 250 and it's worth the money. But if you guys don't want to spend and support the developer, I'll put a link in the description below linking to a free version of Triangle V. But I really recommend buying the app and supporting the developer. Once the app has been downloaded, you guys should find it in the home screen or in the app drawer. So let's go and open it. And by the way, you guys will need root access, so your phone or your device has to be rooted. So let's press grant. And it's loading. Okay. So you guys can always follow the developer on Google Plus and Twitter. So as you can see, this is my version and over here you guys can see my current state it says my counter is 9 binary is custom and my device is SGH1747M so to reset the flash counter press reset flash counter and it should say this danger and by the way I am not responsible for your device you guys will be doing at your own risk Let's press continue. As you can see, it's resetting. And flash counter has been reset. Let's press OK. And your device should restart. If it doesn't restart, you guys can hold down the power button and press power off or even restart. I'm going to go and power off. Press OK. Okay, my device is powered off. Let's turn it back on while holding the volume down and home button so I can get to download mode. Let's press up. And as you can see on the top, custom binary download is no. And it used to say yes, then nine counts, but now it's changed to no. So that's basically it guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today. If you guys want to see more just like this, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.